Well, we've just arrived at the Station Inn. Station Inn at Riverhead. Got ourselves a good beer. Yeah. I've got myself a Ribblehead bitter, and you're on a. I don't know. Uh, water. water. Yeah. I went for a boy on side, but they ran out. So. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it was about 70 mile for us to get here. It took about two hours. Not rushing. Friday afternoon, bank holiday. Well, he was moaning all the way because yeah, people weren't rushing. When you can catch people up in a motorhome and you're only doing 45 mile an hour, they need to get themselves a better license and learn to drive. Uh, I was ready I, to... I wasn't saying that so that you then launched into it all over again. I was explaining to our viewers why I look so like... Oh. Laid back. All you do is sit there and look wide of you. And after they get told to take pictures because I'm too busy, and I forgot to change the camera in the front facing GoPro as well. <laughs> but yeah, we're here, gonna have a beer. Uh, we're hoping to do two thirds of the three peaks tomorrow. We're gonna do Ingleborough and Penny Gent. Mm. Yeah, because we've already done one side, haven't we? Yeah, and 24 mile is, it knackers your feet. Done been there, done that. All right, so we'll catch you later. Just at the old quarry, which is now a bit of a nature reserve. Uh, I was telling Heron that that's where we'll be peaking tomorrow. That's Ingleborough, and then we'll be coming all the way across. And just over there in the distance is Penigent. If you actually go back to our very first video, it was here. And we summited one side in the sun, which is over there. But we're only hoping to do two out of the three. Um, it's an area I know I've walked quite a bit around here because quite fortunately I used to uh, get a job as, as a train driver. And we used to come here and bring wagons into the quarry just over there to be loaded with stone. And it would be about seven and a half hours. And what you can do in Ribblehead for seven and a half hours, you've got no phone signal up here. Um, so I'd go walking. I'd get it in position and I'd go off walking. And so I've walked around quite a bit of this. Uh, managed to lose a glove one day and then find it the next magically. But yeah, this, this used to be an active quarry. And it's now just... Uh, it's just a nature reserve been left to rewild itself. During the winter, water pools off the edge over there. And there's a waterfall and everything. But look, you've got a crazy dog look. Ah. Extensive limestone pastures, ash woodland, limestone pavements, flower rich hay meadows, and heather clad peatlands. In managing the reserve, Natural England aims to protect and enhance the site's wildlife and geology support scientific research and encourage visitors to explore, learn about and enjoy this unique landscape.
morning again. Uh, we've just arrived at Ingleborough. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Great for walking, not too hot, but not raining or cold either. So uh, I'm gonna get I think it's up that one. I don't know if you I don't know if I'm pointing at the right thing because it's it's dark and full of terrors. Uh, I've been awake half the night worrying about it. I think. I, I don't know quite what I was worried about, but uh, yeah, it's sort of like performance anxiety, isn't it? You're not even being timed like those poor people back there who are actually paying in to book in, no. uh, get their official stamp at the start and get their stamp no, and certificate not, at the it's end. It's not about time. It's not about time. It was time. when I did it. Nine yeah. hours and 45. Yeah, no, it's all about just seeing if I can do it, really. And if I can't, then what then? So, uh, so it is a bit nerve-wracking, but we're going to go and do it. And uh, I'm sure when we stop with a, a nice cup of water and some Jaffa cakes, great. Um, I'll uh, catch up with you then. That's a tough bit done. Well, it was hard, but it wasn't too hard. No, that's uh, Ingleborough done. I've well, we just summited at Ingleborough. Uh, Helen's just coming down the path behind us, and we are just on the diverging path. Sorry, the sun's behind me to take us to Horton in Ribblesdale and then on to Pennygen. Quiet and slow I try my best to move There you have it. We've done three and a half miles from peak at Ingleborough. Whoa, we're trying to do this while walking down a slippy path and the dog pulling me in what not been a great idea. Um, I haven't even got the screen flipped around yet so I don't even know if I'm in shot. But yeah, only a mile to Horton and then we'll have a look then to see what it is to get up to Penny Gent and back to Ribblehead. But it's been a nice walk so far. That's it been lovely, really lovely. Yeah. Well, we've just arrived at Horton, and Buff is, I think she's definitely cooling down. we are, wind's whistling so I'm going to try and keep loud, uh, just about to 
Summit Penny Ghent. It's been a, a tough two mile climb. I think we're uh, we're about 10 miles in at this moment. Uh, it's been a good old walk, but we'll come back to you when we get to the top. Right, we've just summited at Penny Ghent and scores on the doors, Miss Ford. 11.8 miles yeah. uh, at 2.1 miles per hour. That was a tough old scramble up that last bit. It was. Yeah, and then the dog saw summit and nearly yanked me uh, completely over. Uh, I don't know what she saw, but it's sort of a thing. She never tells us what she sees because she likes to keep it a secret. But yeah, boy. Oh, the breeze is a little bit fresh up here, even though I might have to uh, cover, his arms. cover my arms up. But up to now, it's been plenty warm enough for t-shirt and shirt for me. And shirt, oh god, I can't speak. T-shirt and shirt. And shirt. Oh, Nothing god. else. Yeah, it's Bare just, pump. yeah. No, I'm wearing my shirt on my shorts. Oh, I'm gonna go because I'm not making any sense, am I? <laughs> uh, when we get a view of uh, Ribble Head Viaduct, we'll perhaps come back to you. But this satchel section of the Three Peaks is also part of the Pennine Way. Uh, and it's not a bad view at all. Look at that. Uh, oh, never have we felt so good to see Brian. <laughs> He's just there looking away. Uh, there's a fire duct. Uh, there's a cup of tea van. I'm going to zoom out, it's probably going to go all jerky, but ah, look at that. And then I'm going to flip us round. Oh, that has been tough. That was a very, very tough walk. Uh, all the stats will be out later, no doubt. Uh, yeah, but it's going to be about 18 and a half mile, I think. Um, I'm definitely not as fit as when I last did this six years ago because I'd done all of it in 45 minutes more than it's taken <laughs> us to do two thirds uh, but we've it's been good it weather has been nice just just catching a little bit of drizzle now uh, but no I'd be, glad, I'd be glad to get back in now. we're going to drop Buff off give her a dinner, give her a bowl of water. She had had plenty of water. I think she's drunk half of Yorkshire dry. Uh, not Canada though. Um, and then we're gonna go and have some gorgeous grub and in the beer. pub. And some beer. And a beer. But I don't think we're gonna be late into our pits tonight. And I don't think we're gonna be up early tomorrow. The idea was we were gonna try and tackle Burnside again tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to happen. No, we're uh, now, it we? hasn't helped that some muppet who always leaves his walking boots in the van must have taken his walking boots out of the van and he's just done the two tough sections of the Free Beaks Challenge in a pair of sketches. <laughs> a very old pair of sketches. Yeah. And yeah, I'm definitely feeling, I'm even feeling the tarmac through the bottoms of them now. But enough whinging, it's been good, we've had fun. Yeah, we have. Uh, the fun. station in at Ribblehead uh, is a great stop, but people are stopping in the laybys here as well. You know, there's also a, another secret location that I'm not going to give away, but if you know the area, you know where it is. And a lot of old and off grid camping goes on up there. But for now, well, we've survived to get to the pub. I've got a gamekeeper's bitter, Helen, I've over there, has got a worm side pail, and I'm going to have a little shot. We've bloody earned this, because I haven't got my glasses on, but we've done 19.61 miles, elevation was 3,600 feet, and we've done that in 7 hours and 37 minutes. How many hours? Seven. Oh, we took more as the stops. Seven thirty-seven. Yeah. That's really good going. What's your average pace? Two mile and a bit. Um, 
the size slowed right down because I was napped. Don't worry if you can't find it. 2.6 mile an hour. That's not bad over that terrain. No. That's with my legs. Yeah. Alright, well, that's it. Cheers to you, my love. Well Cheers done. Cheers to you, well done. I'll Bronc Mino. Now I'm going to eat loads of stuff. Oh, we are. Sorry for the bat lit. Just had a really lovely meal in the station inn at Ribblehead. To be fair, if they'd have fed us buttered toast with cheese on it, it would have been good, but it was better than that. But I had pork casserole in a giant um, Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding, pudding with Lost mash, vegetables. Uh, I asked for extra gravy because I always asked for extra gravy and they delivered it, not a problem. And the food was wonderful. It was lovely. We left old Buffy so she could have a rest. She's totally traumatised, um, obviously. After our dinner, uh, a young group came in, uh, three of them, who'd been walk out walking. We invited them to sit at our table. We've had a good chit chat about all things travel and putting the world to right and the weirdness mm. of Brits abroad and everything. So we've had a really nice time. And the, it, it sort of distracts from how much your legs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's been helped by one good meal and three good beers. So if you ever want to stop and do some walking, oh, I'll try and stay in picture, around the uh, Ribblehead area, station in. Yeah, it's uh, nice. You can, you can get a Wi-Fi out into the car park, uh, so you don't need to worry about that. You um, can't book in a, in advance. No, you just it's turn just up. First time, first time, yeah. first come, first served. Yeah. <laughs> three beers. Three beers. Two peaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should be the three beers challenge, shouldn't it? But we'd probably pass that every yeah. day. But yeah, it's been good. We've always stopped off and away from the pub when we've been here before. You know, in the off-grid locations. Uh, but it's one of the first places we came to mm. when we first got the van. Yeah. So it's been nice coming back to it. Yeah. And I feel a little bit frazzled. I think probably... Will I look a little bit frazzled? A little bit moisturiser won't go amiss. Yeah, lovely time. Mm -hmm. uh, don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Sleep. We'll make it up Sleep. as we go along. Sleep. And to coin a phrase from a wise man, we will see. Are you, are you trying to say you're a wise man? <laughs> Not really. Anyway, <laughs> later everybody. Ta-ta. Wait, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh,